Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And tonight I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it's uh, for the game Beyond the Gates of Antares, the 28mm sci-fi miniatures game from Warlord Games. And I'm building the Stanchion buildings. Uh, now these are two small ones. Uh, there's also a medium one and a large one, and I will build those in another video later. Uh, but the Stanchion buildings are pretty real, like real close to each other, but I'll still put out a video for the medium and the large. Um, I'm really excited for this because I don't have a ton of Antares terrain. And uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, how hard uh, <laughs> how hard or easy it is to put this together. Um, and so you can add these to your miniature games for Beyond the Gates of Antares. So it comes in a cellophane wrapper like this. I've already cut this one off. And on the back side, of course, we have our instructions on how to build it. Uh, so we have, looks like the main structure. And then we're going to move on to the rest of the main structure and as you can see uh the steps but you technically really don't need the steps but they're detachable looks like so that's good uh you can use the trans pads to uh, actually go into these buildings um the trans mats or trans pads to go into these buildings if you to uh do uh decide to do that right here looks like the base there so from the looks of it we got one small sprue here uh, looks like for the steps, uh, this one here is the main body. Now, if this is the small one, <laughs> I'm afraid to see what the medium and the, the large ones look like, because this is rather big. I mean, if you see my hand, that's about as size of my palm of my hand here uh, and how big it is. Um, and here's your main base. So uh, put this off to the side. And this is your main base right here. And I'm sure this is part of the main structure of it. So it doesn't look like it's too terribly difficult to put together, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyhow. So uh, what we're gonna use to put it together is, uh, I use tight bond wood glue. Uh, I'm sure you can use any kind of uh, um, um, uh, Elmer's glue or things along that, uh, uh, of that nature. Um, but this one I like, I like using it because it's water cleanup and uh, it says stronger than wood and a fast set time. And this is absolutely true. This, this fets, this sets a lot faster than your normal uh, white, white glue. Um, so we'll be using that and we're also going to be using a, a sharp knife. Be careful. Uh, that's a new blade in there. And uh, also I'm going to be using just a trash paint brush to brush the glue on where I need it. Um, there, uh, and I, good pair of tweezers as well. And I will also include a, a, a picture of all these tools that I use to build this before the video starts. Uh, I also use various sandpapers and nail files as well. I'll make sure I take a picture of that. And right before I uh, start building this, you guys will see what I used to put this together. So without further ado, uh, I will be back in a minute. Uh, to show you what it looks like after it's built and tell you what troubles I had and what not to do. I, uh, I'll be back in a second.
All right, there you have it. There is two of the smaller buildings. Um, lots of things to remember here. <laughs> lots of things to watch out for. Uh, lots of tips I have to give you. So uh, I built this one without the door. Just so you can see it right there. It has no door. I popped the door out. It's sitting right there. I'll use that for scatter terrain. But I'm going to hop this one right here out of the way to show you guys uh, some of the things to watch out for when you're building these. So if you hadn't didn't see it during the video, the steps here have a certain sequence they go in for the handrails. Um, I had glued it all on with a double rail down here, not up here. So I looked at it backwards and I caught it just in time. Uh, to uh, take them out and put them back in the way they're supposed to go. Also, when I was popping out from the sprue, this one, this piece right here broke off. But I was able to use some super glue um, to uh, glue that back on there. Uh, so <laughs> I saved it, thank goodness. Um, but it's going to be fragile, obviously. So I'm going to reinforce it with a little bit more super glue on this side and around the crack there. Maybe sand it down before I paint it. Uh, so watch out for that. Make sure you, you, you look at the instructions. They're laid out how these are supposed to be laid out. Um, so as, that's as far as the steps go. Now, we have this piece here, the, the lid, but uh, this ring right here. Um, in the video, uh, I put the individual panels in this bottom base right here. Um, you can do that and the instructions say to do it that way. You should be fine if you want to. Uh, if you do do that, glue them into the base here, I would uh, sand this ring here. I would take this ring and I would sand gently around each one um, and then put it, then line it up. But it was a lot easier on my second building to uh, glue these into the ring uh, and then take the ring after they're glued in uh, or the glue's about half dry and uh, flip it over, line it up with the door, uh, glue the door on the base, and then line everything else up with the base itself. It's a heck of a lot easier uh, it, for me uh, to put it on there. Also, I did want to point out, I use a lot of glue. You don't have to use a lot of glue. Um, you can actually lose, use a lot less than I did on this kit. Uh, Why well, I kind of glob it on there and then I smooth it out. You don't have to do that. You can certainly do a lot less glue and be a little bit more careful about it than me as well. Um, but I would suggest putting that ring on top like that. So uh, as far as this bottom piece goes, make sure there's four notches here to look at the instructions. The instructions are pretty clear about which ones to put on first. It's the one with the notches on the bottom to put on first and then put the ones that are flat on after that. So, um, those are the troubles I had with the kit. Uh, it goes together very nicely. Um, I know another thing, this ring right here, uh, when you put this ring on, you want to, you want to make sure, and it says in the instructions, I believe it's 36 millimeter. I think it's 36 millimeter from here to here, um, for the steps. So as you can see, uh, I had to cut it out because, uh, I, <laughs> I, I thought I measured it right, but when it when I when I finally put it on there, it I, I squeezed it a little bit and it actually came up short because uh, you can actually take this piece of this top piece of the step and measure it right like that when you're putting on this ring here. Um, that way it'll match perfectly, and you won't have to worry about shaving anything down or anything like that. I mean, you, honestly, you don't have to include the steps if you don't want to either. So. Um, but, uh, but that's it. Uh, those are the tips I got to give you guys. Just remember the handrails are very fragile uh, on these. They're very fragile, very thin. Just be careful when you're punching them out. Use a knife, a really sharp knife to punch them out with. Um, but uh, pretty cool in Qatari's kits. Uh, makes for great scenery, great terrain to put out on the table. And these ones here, these are the small ones. <laughs> You have a medium and a large, so I can only imagine the large is probably about as big as two of these put together. So, uh, but, uh, but that's it. That's all I got for you guys. There's two. I can't even fit them in the camera. I had to raise my camera up on the tripod just so you guys can get a good look at these. Uh, there will be some still shots. Um, 
And I'll put a miniature on them for size. We'll put a samurai on there, even though it's science fiction. Uh, for scale, as you guys can see how big these are. These are actually uh, considered the small ones, and they're pretty, they're pretty big considering being the small ones. So, but uh, that's all I got for you guys. Appreciate you sticking with me through this video. Um, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Please spread the word. I'd really appreciate it. Like, give me a like on this video. Um, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of these buildings. And uh, last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and I'll catch you in the next video.